And hundreds of Columbus City School students will be heading back to the classroom in style, all thanks to the Columbus Police Department and the Starfish assignment. The annual Cops and Barbers event hopes to get kids ready for school in the short term while also setting them up for long term success. NBC4's Alan Henry is live outside the Glenwood Community Center on the west side of town. And Alan, what was that event like today? Well, Jennifer, despite the mask, you could still, still still tell some of these kids were smiling from ear to ear as they had a fun day of activities here. Some of them leaving with a fresh haircut for the first day of school. This is us embedding ourselves in the community and, and giving back, as we should. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Now in its fourth year, the Cops and Barbers event had to be a little smaller than normal this year, but still hopes to have a big impact on kids. <laughs> Barbara Rob Kaysen started the event with Officer P. Casuccio after they bonded over a haircut. For the first day of school, you want to look fresh and have the freshest things on, you know, for that back to school experience. And what better than have a haircut and look beautiful for that first day of school? My personal opinion, the best type of crime prevention is getting kids when they're young. If you can instill confidence in a young person when they walk in that classroom, it might be just the spark they need to make better decisions. On top of the haircut, students received one of these backpacks filled with school supplies to help them start the school year strong. It's very helpful. You know, a lot of parents can't afford it, so, you know, it really helps them out a lot, I feel. And kids need it. Organizers also hope to leave the kids with positive impressions of interacting with police and their community. You could be friends with anybody in this world, doesn't matter what they are, cop, white, black, purple, green, doesn't matter. Now, more than 200 students participated this year, but that's still shy of the pre-pandemic event levels of more than 1,000. Organizers are hoping to get back to those levels next year or perhaps make this event even bigger. Local for you, Alan Henry, NBC4.